I often get asked, what's a good exercise for lower abs? It's common to have a hard time connecting to that lower section of the muscle. Here's a great one you might not have seen, the lower ab knee bend. Watch the sequence first, then try it. You're gonna be on your back with your legs almost straight. Start by doing a double crunch. So you're gonna pull your abs in to lift your shoulder blades and your tailbone off the floor. Just the tip of your tailbone will be up because if your whole pelvis is off the floor, you're gonna be using too much of your hip flexors to do it. Now keeping your tailbone slightly off the floor, slowly bend your knees to 90 degrees and back up. So you're using the lower section of your rectus abdominis to keep your tailbone slightly off the floor against the weight of your calves. Try to keep your elbows wide as you go. For a more challenging version, you can start at 90 and go below 90 and back without bouncing. The further your knees are from your chest, the harder that's gonna be. Ooh, whoo, you will definitely feel that lower section of your rectus abdominis, eight to 10 reps is great. Now, we just worked the lower section of your spinal flexors, so we gotta balance that out by working the lower section of your spinal extensors. A good way to do that is roll it over. You're gonna be face down, resting your head on your hands. Your heels are lightly touching. Use your lower back muscles to lift your legs slowly Pause it at the top and back down without relaxing. Again, lift it. It's not very high. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can and really focus on using the lower part of your spinal extensor muscles and let your glutes be secondary. As many reps as you can do with good technique, and that'll balance out that lower ab work. It'll probably be somewhere in the 20 rep range, lifting very slowly and carefully and giving it that nice pause at the top. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out lubriterfitness.com for more to keep you active and awesome.